This is another demonstration of Bernoulli's principle. I'm going to create a stream of air using this hose and send it across this piece of paper that's, dang that's been taped to the tabletop and is dangling off of the edge of the tabletop. What you'll be looking for is to, well, for what you'll be thinking about, hopefully, is that the velocity will be high on the top side of this paper. That high velocity means the pressure will be low. And the pressure on the bottom side of the paper is atmospheric pressure. And so it will be greater than that low pressure on top. And the atmospheric pressure will push the piece of paper up and overcome the, the small amount of weight that this paper has and bring it into, uh, into a vertical position just below the stream of air. This is how a, a clarinet reed works. When the stream of air from the player's mouth goes over the reed, um, it, it creates a low pressure region which causes the reed to move. And then when the air goes the other direction, the reed moves in the other direction. So that causes the reed to vibrate and causes the uh, instrument then to sound. Yeah, so we've now got the paper up. We've got high velocity and low pressure here. I can disrupt it and the paper will go down. And this is actually a principle upon which um, a lot of musical instruments work. Uh, the lips of the trumpet, there's a Bernoulli effect that, that, that is relevant there. The Tacoma Narrows bridge collapse, uh, same thing. The, um, the, the air stream over the top of the bridge will cause a lower pressure and the bridge to rise, and that's what caused that Tacoma Narrows bridge to, to come down. <laughs>